Hi, my name's Aisha. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. This is just a quick video about a mortgage product that's become available as of the 9th of May. I know that I talk fast. I always have. I was going to slow down, but then I decided that I wasn't going to slow down because um, I spoke to a friend once and he'd said that he watches my video on like 1.5 times the speed. And so um, that's actually not that helpful because um, they don't credit you for the watch time. So if someone watches one minute's worth of a video at twice the speed, then I only get credited for 30 seconds. So it's it doesn't work out well for me. So if there are going to be people who are going to slow it down, which you can do by pressing the button which is down there somewhere or down there, whichever side it ends up being, then that helps me out because I get more watch time. So yeah, <laughs> no slowing down for me. Thank you to everyone who does watch my videos though and thank you to everyone who's subscribed, I do really appreciate it. For this video, please remember, as I always say, I'm not a financial advisor at all, I um, just give my own opinions. So um, if you're not sure about if something is for you or it's not for you, then there are people that you can speak to so you can go out and get yourself a financial advisor. A lot of people will give advice for free, um, you can talk to a mortgage broker as well, um, they can give you advice according to your personal circumstance. So yeah, make sure you do that if you're not sure. So it seems as though 100% mortgages are back and in a way, in a way, it's good for people who rent. So I think a lot of people who rent might be able to identify with the fact that, especially if they're not in a HMO type rented accommodation, then they will be paying quite a lot per month and often the amount they're paying per month is more than what the mortgage is or would be on the same property. So it's it's a bit disheartening for renters to have to just pay out so much per month and they don't get any credit for it, they never get that money back, it's not working towards a deposit, it's, it's not doing anything for them, it's just 100% unrecoverable. So um, this is a good thing in terms of you can pay your money and it's actually going to something that's an investment for you. Paying a lot per month makes it hard to save up for a deposit and you know when you have traditional mortgages you have to save 5%, 10%, sometimes 15% they're asking depending on the lender and depending on the rates and things like that. So to be able to get onto the property ladder with a 100% mortgage that's a big deal for some people. The 100% mortgage is with Skipton Building Society and it's called the Track Record Mortgage. Um, so with this product people who rent can borrow 100% of the purchase price of a property up to £600,000 and it's on a 5.49% rate over five years and the term is 35 years maximum. So this is aimed at anyone who's a first time buyer, over 21, has a good credit history. I think in one place it mentioned not having any loans, so if you've got a credit card, things like that, um, you might have to pay those off before you can apply for the mortgage. I'm not 100% sure. Um, you have to have a good track record of paying your rent and bills over 12 months as well. Once you meet that criteria, then you should be good to be able to get this 100% mortgage. Of course, you also do have to have a job, so you can borrow a similar amount to what traditional buyers can um, borrow, so it's 4.49 times your salary. I guess maybe traditional buyers have a bit of an edge though because they can borrow 4.49 times, plus they also have a deposit in some cases as well, but this does also put renters in a good position as well. You can put a tiny bit of a deposit in on this 100% mortgage, but it has to be less than 5%. There are a few other 100% mortgages out there already, but with those ones, they're a little bit different because you need a guarantor. So this one is good for those people who aren't in a position, which is quite a lot of people, to be financially backed by someone. It's a big deal to ask someone to be financially responsible for you. So I can imagine that for most people, uh, having a guarantor isn't an option for them. Okay, so on to the advantages and disadvantages then. Um, the rate is quite high, so other mortgages out there at the moment are around maybe 5% or a bit less in some cases, so 5.49% is quite high. There aren't any fees on the loan which is good and also you won't be asked to pay more than what you currently pay on rent. The price of the property does have to work out in terms of a mortgage, so obviously you can't just decide to buy a mansion. The amount per month has to match or be lower than what you're paying in rent, so that will dictate what kind of property you could buy depending on the area that you are in and depending on the job that you have. Although your track record has to be good over 12 months, the amount that you're asking for, you have to have been paying that for six months at least. So you can't, for example, move out of your parents' home or move out of a HMO today and then get a new property that you're renting tomorrow, which is higher so that you can get a mortgage and then just go to the bank. Like It has to be six months worth of paying that amount and that's what they'll give you. 
I don't think you can get this 100% mortgage on a new build flat though, which makes sense if you've listened to one of my previous videos. I did mention that on new builds, especially with flats, sometimes when you sell them on, they're sold on at a loss um, just because new builds are sold on at a premium. So sometimes it takes a while to catch up with that value. So it makes sense for them to want to protect their money. It may or may not be a big deal for some people though. Some people only like new builds. Some people might then consider older buildings because you know it's better to have your own property maybe than wait to be able to save towards a new flat when you're paying out loads of money in rent. So it's pros and cons. Also, I guess you have to be minimum 35 years away from retirement age because if you know, you're gonna retire in five years, they're not gonna give you a 35 year mortgage. Okay, I think my personal issue with this 100% mortgage is the five year fixed rate at 5.49%. So remember, I'm not a financial advisor, but I think that's a long time to have such a high rate. I personally wouldn't want to be stuck with that rate for that long um, because I don't think that rates will stay that high for that long. I could be wrong, but I was right when I said that they were handing money out like sweets um, on everything. They were just giving loans out and I was like, probably because the interest rates are gonna rise and then they did rise. Um, and also I did say that I didn't think the pandemic would mean that house prices would drop, which again, it didn't. So sometimes I do get it right, but I might not be right with this. Um, in five years time, I would imagine I'd like to think that interest rates are not gonna be at 5.49% and they already are higher than a typical mortgage now because as I've said, rates are currently at 5, 5%, 4.8%, 4.9 in some places so it's already high so why would you want to be stuck paying that for five years i don't know to counteract that argument though if you're stuck paying rent and you're paying that amount in rent anyway and you don't think you're going to be able to even get on the property ladder in five years time because you can't save then it makes sense to maybe just get a property anyway there are so many scenarios that could go right or wrong really the good thing is that in five years time you'll be paying down on that mortgage over those five years because your mortgage will be a repayment mortgage so that means that if you didn't put any money in at the beginning then you will have started to create your own deposit in the property as you pay your mortgage each month the value of that deposit would depend on house prices in five years time though if property prices remain similar then you're lowering your loan to value quite nicely um so if the numbers work out you could get a better rate on your follow-on mortgage in five years time if not then not but you still should have something in the property anyway. Mortgages like this do tend to help prop the property prices up though. And I know the Prime Minister is thinking about launching something similar to the help to buy because obviously that's not available anymore. And again, to help first time buyers or to prop things up, he wants to, or he's considering putting something in place. So again, it might be a good thing because actually the last thing you want is for house prices to drop if you're on a 100% mortgage because it means if they do drop, then you'd be in negative equity, which we know from before, it, it just doesn't work. There's really nothing stopping that from happening again. At the drop of a hat, something can change. So there's, there's I couldn't say either way whether house prices are going up or down. Who knows what is going on at the moment? I don't know. Of course, you also do need to remember that with houses, it's not just the um, mortgage that you're paying, it's the bills as well, which obviously you have to prove that you can pay the bills, but um, there are other things that could go wrong, um, especially if you're going for an older house, then, um, you know, the roof might leak or the boiler might break down. It's just always something. So if you've not got savings, then, you know, you're, you're not going to be in a good position. But I suppose that could be said for any house buyer as well, because if you spend all of your money on a deposit, then you don't have any savings to put towards those things anyway. So it's it's pros and cons. Um, there are definitely good aspects of this and there are definitely bad aspects as well. I guess it's an option to be considered and I know that there are so many people out there that are upset about the fact that they pay so much out per month and they don't see any value come back to them for that. Obviously they're living in a place where they might kind of like but other than that there's no long-term investment so this provides the opportunity to have that long-term investment. I suppose also it's more risky for solar buyers. If you're buying something with someone, then you could always choose to just base your mortgage on one person's salary. And then you're kind of in a nice position because you've got that buffer of the two of you um, who, and you might both work, so that's good. Um, it doesn't seem to be much of an issue if you've got a lot between you. So that's it for today's video. I thought I'd just quickly drop this one in because it's something new as of today. And I know that there are quite a lot of you who watch my video who do rent, who aren't quite in a position to get a mortgage. And this is an option if you wanna consider it. Again, as I've said, talk to a mortgage 
advisor or a mortgage broker, see what your options are. It might really work out for you and some people really will make it work for them. But I would just say be careful, that's all. That's it for today. I'll see you in the next video, whenever that will be. I know I'm not very consistent with my uploading, um, but we'll see how it goes from here on. Um, you take care of yourselves.